Okay, so we've got this Jack's Creek Black Angus brisket. Just going to trim up this morning and put on a smoker probably about midday today. Been trimmed a little bit, but um, by the packers. But we'll do a bit more trimming. Pat it dry. What we need to do first is get rid of all this fat and silver skin off here. as we can without hitting the meat. Only a family cook this, it's not for commercial or presentation or anything, but still want to make it look as, as nice as possible and also make it uh, hopefully cook better if all the jagged edges are taken off. has been, well it's been trimmed out actually, the fat's been trimmed out from under there but there's not a lot I can do about that. We'll just trim some of this hard fat down. Get nice and even up and down to as close to a quarter of an inch as I can. It's just trying to get it down to a level without Getting too close there, you can see I've just taken a little bit too much, so we know not to go any closer there. And there we go, that should be okay. Just take those bits off there. I think that will be good to go. I'm doing a thin slather of French's classic mustard. And then for the seasoning, I'm using Goldie's barbecue, Texas Monthly's brisket rub. So first we'll just put whoops, a little bit of the French's mustard, not too much, just a A light slather all over, just making sure I've got co everywhere covered. Get all the edges, and then we'll put a liberal dose of the Goldie's barbecue rub. Sure, everywhere is covered, all the sides. And 
give it a good pat. And do the presentation side. Again, a good dose of the Goldie's brisket rub. There we go. It's nice and covered. And we'll leave that there now for 25 minutes, half an hour, um, just to soak in some of the seasoning. The pit's getting up to temperature at the moment and then we'll put it on the pit. Hi, so you've joined me outside now. The brisket's all seasoned up. The pit's getting up to temperature, so we'll put the brisket on now. Get a little bit of dirty smoke to get some additional smoke flavour onto the brisket. And uh, here we go. I'm going to put the brisket in with a point pointed towards the fire, plump it up. It's a nice sized brisket, it was six and a half kilos before it was trimmed. And we'll put some tallow trimming on there as well, some beef trimming to make into tallow. And that's it, we'll leave that going now. Okay, as you can probably see, it's, it's dark outside now, so I've got the light on. Pulled the brisket off after just under nine hours. Looking really good, really nice bark. And um, wrapping it completely in the Goldies method. So it's fully cooked. Wrap it in foil and I'm resting it for quite a while overnight at 140 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. Um, there's a little bit of pool in there, which I can't really do anything about, but uh, overall really pleased with it. So see how it turns out in the morning. Hi, so we cooked the brisket yesterday. We've had it kept in the oven at uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit overnight, so it's had a good long rest. Uh, we've done it Goldie style, which is uh, cook it all the way through and then wrap it right at the end uh, in foil and then just rest it from there. Let's see what it's like. It's nice and juicy, very. Nice and rendered. Very, very soft. So let's cut a few pieces. The burnt ends first. So we'll cut some of the flat. I 
because I've had it rested for such a long time. It finished early, um, finished about nine o'clock last night. I was expecting it to go on to about 12. So it's been in the oven warming for a long time, like 14 hours, but looks good. That's the flat. So I'll cut a few pieces of that. As you can see, the, the bark's very soft with it being rested for so long. The back end of the point did get crispy here, um, a little bit too hot by the fire when it was cooking. So this is the fat, which, hope you can see that.